Hello everyone, Lemgen is here again and at this today's video I'm going to show you how we can connect to some external API using Outrix. So if you want to, to continue watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for you receive more and more videos about data and about Outrix. So let's get started. Uh, here in the canvas, in the Outrix, uh, I'm showing you a workflow that I have developed to connect to an external API. And here I already have some, some tools that in the previous videos I have already explained to you. I will put in some place of this video my playlist where you can check that out and learn a little more what, uh, what these two do. So basically here, uh, before to, to, to get started to the, the API and get its values, what I'm doing here is preparing some variables to join my URL and put it inside my, my tool where I actually will get data from. So here I'm getting some daily time these variables, like today, last two months, yesterday or start of year and at this point here it's an important point because it's here that i'm, I'm building my URL, urls and the parameters where i will input inside my tool to get this data from the apis so basically here i i, I already have my api my endpoint and using this string formatting to concatenate data I append my parameter, uh, uh, you can see it here, date param formatter, and I'm inserting it at my three variables. So I have three, but uh, to show you, I, I'm just using one of one of those. So basically the, the two where we will configure and will return data for us is this tool here, the download tool. So you can find it here in the search bar and search for downloads download tool and here you can just drag and drop it here um, so in this tool in the left panel we have basically two two tabs to configure we use the URL field okay, that's the, the column use it to, to get our URL as I showed you I have three URLs here where I have built it in the my formula tool. For example, this is one I'm using now, URL AKP transport. And uh, at this field, I configure it here. And in the headers, uh, if you have some kind of authorization, you can configure it here. Or you, if you prefer, you can use another column to configure as you your header in your in your case. It's possible too. Uh, other tool that uh, we, we need to use here too is JSON field. We can find it JSON, JSON parse or JSON field. We can search it in the uh, searching bar and drag it inside the canvas. And its functionality is convert the data that come from uh, JSON and convert it to columns in Outrix. Here I'm just validating some the consistency of data if it have nodes or not. Uh, test the columns is another another tool uh, that we, we, we need to use to convert the JSON data inside a data set. And here uh, I use it to to split the parsed values from the JSON into into data set into columns like a, a database and the last two is a cross tab you can find it here too cross tab uh, in the cross tab we just convert uh, rows to columns and I'm going to show it to you right now with more details so I just run it and the data are already available to me so check I have Passed my URL AKP parameters and the output of this 
this download tool give to us the previous data that we have uh, using here that came from the last the previous tool and it gives to us more two columns the HTTP stat status and the download data uh, where is the data uh, uh, converted to JSON JSON data type uh, so uh, in the JSON field what we will do is get this data in the JSON and convert it to the database so, so check this uh, it converted this type to, to this so uh, just this uh, this, tool, this this tool identify the the pattern of this this JSON and convert it to us and uh, its configuration is very simple just uh, select the column that we want to convert and make it to, to us so he, he, it has identified for us and split into two columns JSON name and JSON value uh, pay attention uh, pay attention we have uh, some patterns in the JSON name check uh, just result dot zero that the name result dot zero dot uh, two and so on if you go go ahead in the data we can check uh, after every result we have another id so for every number we can see here it is related to one column when we are looking for data set and uh, further I, I will explain how it works and there's two columns uh, i use these two columns to split to basically split sorry this column name into uh, three or two uh, or four it depends how the data in the, in the json coming from so in my case here i split it, this this column into three fields or three new columns using the delimiter adult so for identify a dot create the column identify another dot create another column and so on you can check it uh, in the output of this this tool so check uh, result is my, my first result field after test columns uh, json2 is the number or the ig and json field 3 uh, is the uh, the name of the columns and uh, so here we have the name of the columns we have the ig and we have the, the value of the, the related column so uh, i'm using the select tool to only for future the columns that i want i i, I only need the column name uh, the id and the value and for now i'm using the cross tab where i will convert this column name into columns so it's in, in, in row types i will convert it to columns and to configure it it's very simple we we need to select some key feature uh, where we get the id to, to group it and transform these rows into columns so uh, at the end of this process it has to transform it uh, for example this id is zero into uh, the columns for, in, for each ig it's one row uh, distributed in columns for so for example if you come here and we find we filter to find the the ig zero look it was converted into uh, the columns and getting the, the the values so basically that's all the tools necessary to get to get data from apis of course uh, for each case each pro process each project has its own uh, customizing things and and it's it must be available in the, the, the time of the project but if you had liked this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe we will receive more and more videos about how to use more data and have the opportunity to enhance your data set enhance your analysis in your in your project on your company so if you i, I hope you have learned something new thank you for watching